Welcome back to the semifinal, uh, quarterfinals of GP on, um, playing against Hersey, who's on Mardu control. Uh, probably not the best matchup for me, um, because you have, what should I call it? Uh, their deck is really heavily tuned towards dealing with red decks specifically. So, like, all the like, removal has left can attach. Most of the decks removal, they have, um, what should I call it? Um, they have Villainy and Tailedry, which are both cards Mono Red, uh, at least Big Red, don't want to deal with. Uh, they do hit a very good hand, though. Um, turn 1 Daisy, turn 2 Polytania. Uh, do need to consider playing around Harm's Way if they do keep that up on turn 1. Because um, it is just very annoying how uh, Tanya interacts with Harm's Way because the flip side is an all planeswalker. So we'll, uh, we'll die if I plus 1. Um, to get it out of range of Han's way dealing two damage, but if I don't plus one, it dies to Han's way. But they don't have it, so that's good for me. Um, let's see. So I can go Sizzle Mage MSA Tanya. That seems right. Um, uh, my friend doesn't like the way I'm thinking. Um, uh, but yeah, probably gonna go Sizzle Mage MSA Tanya, and uh. Just while my hand out, uh, deal a lot of damage as well. <clears throat> um, I think this is better than like holding Sizzle Mage for two new because not sequencing is a bit awkward. And like, I think a sign kind of forces uh, a wrath, at least a lot of mana commitment. So, uh, I can probably drop down two new anyways. Looks like the judge is uh, confirming that is how it works. <laughs> um, but they are gonna do a quick check. Um, yeah, it's all, all these uh, alternate spell things are weird because I know, um, because you can free cast a Valder's adventure off an MC of Antiquity, which I always found kind of weird, but I suppose makes a certain amount of sense. And I imagine this is probably similar, but like clearly, adventures and most of face cards are not exactly the same, even if they're like kind of sort of similar. Sort of okay, there's a rule specific, a two sentence long rule that says, uh, you can. Um, and now I'm gonna vomit my hand out, swing in, recast a Tanya, and have a uh, nice turn two board state, and pass the turn back. Um, yeah, so I do like getting Tanya down early because um it does start ticking up towards that minus four, which does is like my only real way to kill Violni. Um, let's see, yeah, there's an Auras. Um. So how do I want to do this? I have to imagine they probably play the Desolation untapped if they had Harm's Way. Um, not quite sure what I can put them on in hand, because Harm's Way is the only one drop. If I'm not putting them on Harm's Way, I don't know what I'm putting them on. Um, I think I'm always passing Tanya, though. Doesn't really make sense not to, because um, Harm's Way is always going to get me. It was always going to kill Tanya. And here it's at least not uh, not harmful me, to me um, past killing Tanya. I guess, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just swing in. I guess nine. And I think at this point I'm just removing a daisy counter. Presumably they're playing face the dawn here. I suppose they technically could have, technically could have had lethal if I had a burn spell in hand. Because MFA, MSA free casted and then daisy, uh, does the last two points. <laughs> but I think they're just kind of dead because I don't think they can deal with Tanya and the board. Because they like need to wrath this, um, and they don't have harm's way, so they don't have a one drop, so they can only cast one spell. So I think they're just kind of mathematically dead. Uh, not as if I guess they specifically top decked harm's way here. Oh right, they have proof worthy. Um, how about that, Tanya and Daisy. Uh, so they go up to eight here. It's not dead, but not looking like they're in a. Great spot. I think most of my deck kills them. Puna does not kill them, though. Um, uh, do I play Sizzle Mage here? I guess I do. Kind of puts them in the same spot, but they do have a, another chance for a land drop. Uh, though there is a fatigue on top of the deck, so. But yeah, that's a pretty dominant game one. Um, I do want distance here. I think generally been siding in the Flames approach versus uh, deck switch going face. Um, we're at, okay, so they are starting, they have a, uh, 
another Wrath post board because they're playing ridiculous amount of Wrath. Uh, four Wisp Placings, Labor Ambitions, Key Block. Um, I think I'm signing up Rattler here. I think Rattler doesn't really do anything in this matchup. It's not a bad card in this matchup, but uh, it does give them a good target for Wisp Placing. Uh, Archon steals Heraldry, which is good. Um, let's see, Market Smuggler is really slow, I suppose. So what am I signing that out? Uh, King Ken has many argument to be sided out too, um, just because they do have a lot of instant speed removal. Um, but it does cantrip, which is at least something. Uh, Riftway, how do I feel about Riftway in this matchup? Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether they keep in no rest, so I guess that means I probably don't bring in Riftway. Um, may I side Elder Scorch for Fireweaver, just so I have a burn spell that can go face in the sideboard? And then I guess I'm leaving in the smugglers and doing that. Um, yeah, probably going with this. Yeah, I think starting out of Scorch, bringing the Flames Approach makes sense, because I think if I'm grabbing Flames Approach or Fireweaver, I'm probably better off grabbing Seed or Unburden Rage. I think those are the main targets that Fireweaver is grabbing this matchup. I think I'm going to go with this. Possible starting out route, though, is a bit too conser uh, conservative or aggressive. Not sure which. <laughs> Uh, so I've turned to Tanya, which is good. I think I always keep this. It's definitely not impressive, but I don't think I'm all getting for one drops when they're probably going up to eight kill spells turn one. Also, they on the play, so not as effective in that sense either. Um, definitely not a hand that can that I have super high hopes for, but I think that's most hands this matchup where the game one hand was a uh, clearly an outlier. Maybe I'll draw a Ragman turn one. Nope. Um. So do I lead on this one to Tanya? I guess I lead on Tanya. I think that makes more sense. Um, just because it plays around Han's way a bit. I mean, like, they're pretty similar um, in general. Because Tanya dies to a lot of things, too. Uh, Fireweaver's a good draw. Do I have two Tanyas? Well, maybe I need both Tanyas to fight through uh, the villainy or whatever. I could also Tanya not plus, which is a bit weird, but I suppose I could do that. Uh, yeah, let's just turn your plus, force them to kill it. It's second black source, that might mean, uh, villainy, which is unfortunate. I don't know what I do if they play villainy here. Yep, there's villainy. Um, this you play King Ken, huh? There's a Fireweaver for one better mage. Uh, turn your uptakes to four. Yeah, I think I just pick, uh, I could play distant. But Tanya, I think Tanya isn't crazy here, but also we do want stuff to follow up the two new. I think I'll just play King Ken and say, um, what? I guess I'll say distant. I guess I'll say MSA. Uh, oh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I just play a land and pass. There's an arc on. Um, I think I always play two new here. I could wait a turn to see if I so I can maybe get land value off the plus one. Um other options would just be like there's not really other options, so I'll just play Tenu. Um Sizzle Mage. That's a good hit, I guess. Um Might as well adventure it. I can adventure from hand, right? Yeah. Um I think I always just fire either here. Post going Tanya? Yeah. And grab Unburdened Rage. Yeah. Pretty optimistic to uh, hope that Tuni survives there. But I do have this Unburdened Rage, which will at least do something. Which I can maybe try and leverage. I'm hoping to hit a land on top to start cutting these uh, Tanyas down. Oh, no, me. Okay. So I guess they... Uh, I guess they don't have any great value, so... so I, I guess that this means that they did leave in... Uh, no rest, because otherwise they mill themselves. So, uh, um, whatchamacallit, so they don't act mill a flames approach. So they don't have a red source, which is good to note. It was a mountain. Um, I guess I'm always just going Tanya and then plus Tanya. It's kind of hard to, uh, run them out of cards, especially with this misery and exile, but we'll have to try and do it. Reduce to not find happiness of misery. Um, mills me. There's tiny number four. Reduce to not resolves. Pass turn back. 
I suppose maybe I popped them Building Mage too soon. But, like, I don't really have great passing plays. It's so like, the longer I wait, the more they're going to draw Felony and be able to to uh, abuse it. So I'll have a red source. It's interesting. So I don't need to worry about proof worthy at least. No rest on what? Target distance. Sure. Um... At this point, do I have to scorch the dissonant? Probably, right? It's like Tanya plus two doesn't really do enough. Um, so yeah. Uh, actually, I guess that gives them a villainy draw, doesn't it? Um, so like, I don't know. This is a point where I like consider conceding. Um, because yeah, villainy is kind of dumb. Um, when you don't have removal for it. So, so I guess my only wheel out is going uh, Tanya again. And then I guess pausing and not attacking, I guess. Like, it doesn't really matter because I lose to, like, everything because joy villainy on 10-3. Um, yeah, I did kind of wreck them game one, so karma or something. They just pass back. Okay. I guess that is one way that I can maybe win this. Another distant. Um, anyway, what? I'm always passing Tanya. I'm probably scorching the distant. I guess I'm playing Archon here. Is that right? You never tell you minus three. Uh, and I guess I'm playing Archon here. Wait, pre scorch? Yes, later. I think ult does give me at least some amount of uh, win conditions here. Because that does do a lot of damage, even though they are 27. I mean, hopefully I'd be able to uh, ding them down lower. But they're all going to be setting up for a kill here with Villainy, so... Do you have two distance in hand, which is, like, quite a bit of damage coming out of uh, hand? So do you have the King Ken on it? No spice in the Archon, no rest on... Two... 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 Yeah, and they got the... What's it? Triggers, too. Um... Am I scorching something here? Scorching the dissonant? I guess so. I think I'm just passing back as well. At this point, dissonants are like kind of bad, I guess, because I'm at like a really low life total. But I do kind of need to play them out to get any kind of pressure, so. That's not the werewolf. We all need a Tanya. And that's good enough for me. Um, I wish I should have conceded like several times earlier, but. Whatever. Still, I uh, don't think I'm starting in Riftway, even though they did leave in No West. Um, but yeah, that's really very entertaining. Um, let's see, this is... okay. I guess I'd keep this, but not exciting. Like, this is the kind of pattern that, like, just by playing Fire Weaver, you're kind of forced to keep. is a good draw. Um, I guess I'm going Sizzle Mage MSA Tanya here. Um, because that's the easiest way for me to jam my hand. Holes is an okay draw. Um, I guess I'm always just playing distant and bossing Tanya and swinging. Not really anything else to be doing here. Uh, I could play smuggle instead of distant to play around face it on, but I think I like I'm fine if they play face it on. Pith wilt, the MSA, sure. That does mean that Tanya will almost certainly be able to get an alt in here. Let's turn back. Get an eight. How does face it on work? Oh, sorry, uh, how does prove where, where they work against Tanya? Weirdly. So if I, so they can't kill both Distant and Tanya, even if Tanya is uh, transformed. I don't think I'm ever sacking Tanya for um, an alt here. So Tanya, and six. Bane's approach. Um, so I'm always plusing Tanya. Let's see, I'm, I think I'm always going Smuggler Flames Approach. Yeah. Smuggler, Flames Approach Face, get in the bin for um, whatever, get a equipment. Um, this equipment's always arming the Smuggler itself. So now if I hit a land, I can uh, Memento. Another Nebula, okay. It's another Prove Worthy. Villainy. Uh, okay. Distant. Yeah, I guess I always just play distant. Um, do I play Sizzle Mage first? I guess so, right? Because I'm always playing, I think I'm always playing Sizzle Mage afterwards. 
So there's nothing weird here, right? Yeah. This is harm's way. I still haven't thought through everything with harm's way. Uh, no, I think I think this should be accurate. I'm not sure if this is lethal or not, but it probably is. Might need like the villain trigger or something to make it lethal. Like I, th I think they. So what? Do we really want to think through Han's way lines? Uh, okay, so the thing is that Tony has first strike. Let's make Han's Han's way into a mini solar flare or whatever because. I guess it's always made silver, but um, the tiny damage can be redirected to Smuggler, which d makes it do a lot less damage. So tiny will get in for one, distant will get in for two. Um, yeah, my opponent's calculating it. This is not fun for them either. Um, so like I think, so I think, uh, so just casting Harm's Way doesn't really achieve anything. So they, I think they need to cast it post distant. Um, Arms way, okay. Smuggler, the source of your choice. Okay, source is Tanya. Okay, so I just swing for five and wait. Act, okay, so active player, non active player. So I just swing for five here. The uh, source is Tanya. Then I plus Tanya. It has to turn back. Activating Tanya and swing there would have been uh, down a couple points. So I can't cast anything here. Because they die, because the only trigger is put on stack before the distant trigger. It was active player and non active player. So they need to cast stuff on my turn. <laughs> so they don't die to the distant trigger. Seems hard, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I'm inclined to agree with them. Oh, I missed my uh, smuggler trigger. But whatever. Sizzle Mage. Okay. Oh, Sizzle Mage uh, Flames approaches. So. Uh. So I guess I plus Tanya here. So what? Um, yeah, I think plusing Tanya is always going to be most damage, and then still maging out the flames approach. <laughs> so not activating the holes here. Uh, I don't think there's any meaning in calculating what they could have here. I think I'm always just swinging. I guess. I guess actually I uh, sizzle mage. So I do this pre combat. So harm's way. Uh, let's see. I think they'd do this pre-combat, right? Because if they harm's way, they the harm's way dies to distant. Yeah. So I think they don't have outs here. So I hope they don't have outs here. This nothing does feel overwhelming. Because whenever you have distant and your opponent's on one, it generally feels pretty good. Two mana pith wilts. What? Villainy distant. Okay. So villainy distant resolves. And then. Tanya dying was alls. And yeah, those are not instants. So, uh, geez. So yeah, Silver Mage is, uh, Silver Mage MSA Tanya is a sequence of cards, certainly. Uh, yeah, I think, I think they have it right. So, yeah, if they played Pond's Way pre distant, they get to kill something. Um, yeah, and that doesn't do it either. Um, but also, I, I guess, it, um, they probably stabilize if they don't die here, probably, because like distant, uh, second villainy into find happiness, probably. Um, but definitely kind of rough for them. Um, don't think there's like too much to say about those games. I mean, game one was this, um, which, yeah, I don't know if I deal with like this on turn two. Like nine power on turn two, spit among three bodies with a planeswalker, so rats don't even do it. Um, and I mean, the, the cards still have abilities too. Like, I do technically uh, brick for a turn, but they don't have the answers for it, so whatever. Here, I mean, the game is over. I've... <laughs> Boom, I concede here. Um, not much to say about that. I mean, like, I guess I should check my Fire Reaver line. They really didn't have much, huh? I mean, not that matters with the villain in play, but, but like, if they don't have this uh, Pooh Worthy here, this Tunu might actually take over the game. Um, optimistically, they d still do get a couple draws. I guess I am playing into them having the reduced knot with the uh, five reaver play here. It's like here, I, I don't think there's any argument to like holding off on the unburden mage. Like I think if I had like two more lands here, I could just pass and be like, yeah, I'm gonna pass and I'm gonna play my lands out. But without a land, it's like well, it's gonna be at least like two or three turns to um actually do stuff. 
like then at that point i'd just be fire weaving plus unbutton waging on six lands and be committing to it and like i could play like alcon but that's kind of just feeding the villainy so yeah I mean, it's still at least a little bit of a game just because they do have a bit of an awkward draw is it I mean, is it actually a game not really like at this point i'm like losing on clock too um yeah I don't know. and then here i guess i can actually calculate this out because if they Homes were like they did, just like they take five, go to one. Whereas if they, uh, the, the distant resolve, Homes way the, what? Well, so if they attack, if I attack with just, so I know the how Homes way, this is very obvious. There's always they're dead. Um, so, and I don't feel inclined to believe they're bluffing here. Um, so just attack with everything after Homes way, they go to five out the distant. After casting Homes way, they go Tanya on Smuggler. Um, they take one off the villainy, go to four, one off the Tanya, go to three, two off the distant, go to one. Um, that also means they can't redirect Tanya to distant. Um, and they can't redirect Tanya to Tanya either, because that also leaves them dead. So the only, so they'd be up on just, uh, on what they, from what they did. Um, they'd be up a card and the smuggler would be dead. I forgot the smuggler trigger anyways, or whatever, but, but still pretty, likely for them to get it get out of this um the suppose is like yeah because they're still at one so any sorcery just doesn't work because uh this didn't get some with active player non-active player because the villainies go on the stack first on their turn um though if they do end up not dying and like cleaning the bit the distant then uh they do stabilize really fast with the second villainy um i mean they stabilize fast enough the first villainy but um but yeah uh really just you know this start is really good yeah don't even have one drop this game and it does enough in prove worthy so um uh, but yeah thanks for listening i'll be um <laughs> my uh my next round opponent is i think i the oh i think it's actually just uh caillou who i did beat in the round of uh beat in the swiss but it's like not a comfortable matchup um do you have the play again um but Definitely not the most comfortable matchup, uh, though, in Cantertown. So, yeah, thanks for listening.